someone like meeting someone was this guy and it absolutely was like a rub off of like uh, this is just like Ed it was crazy it was crazy so well, I had to tell well, you about well, that well, 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 well. <laughs> oh, well that's cool well, I understand that you've got a few things that you wanted to give away tonight from oh, yeah. the hunt. Um, and then I'm going to make my announcement after we do our giveaway, if that's okay with you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm going to do the, uh, like, a sum it up. Like, I would absolutely go to this event again. Um, but I, I don't want any of you to because I want to get all the tickets. <laughs> Uh, and it will sell out even faster, which, I, you know, is great for them. But, <laughs> um, yeah, if, if if and when they do a second haunt, it would be something that everybody should consider doing because it was a ton of fun and it went to a good cause. So, um, and cool. I do. So I did end up bringing some stuff back. Um that well it wasn't stuff back i i dug some stuff for the seated hunt so those of you that were not at this event and you want a sticker pack from all the different um youtubers and and different detectorists that were there a uh three ringer a mercury and a buffalo if you'd like to participate in that if you can drop your name in chat what i'll do is i'll start a list of um, I mean, if you were at the, if you were there and you, you want, I guess, <laughs> to join um, the raffle, that's fine too. But really wanted to share this with others that, that didn't get to make the event. So, and then we'll do the uh, random.org and Gypsy can pull yeah, a number. So, all right. So if you want to be entered in this drawing um, with our random number picker, go ahead and drop your name and chat in the comments, and we will get you entered. So. And um, that just reminded me. If you haven't received your Christmas in July package, please, please let me know. Everything went out or was hand-delivered, so... Okay, we've got Roberto, or Paul. Richie, Sharon, Paul, Oh, yeah, and that reminds me, too. So this event was, like, moved, la like, within the, la like, two weeks of the hunt happening, and even, like, more historic site open, so that's where we went. So I, I was like, oh, I wonder what the first site was like, too. <laughs> you know, any of that stuff would be um, <laughs> fun. Sharon, get that treasure. Yeah. Riley for Digging Buddy. Yeah, all the packages for the Christmas in July went out. I believe I got them all squared away about two weeks ago. So, if you haven't got it, definitely let me know. Though I haven't checked, haven't had a chance to check my PO box, so I'm not sure if any have been returned. But I will check tomorrow. All right. Um, I think that's it. Anybody else want to get in on this raffle? It is a pretty cool sticker pack and a three ringer. I, I would have said the three ringer still has the original dirt in it, but I I took the dirt out because I wanted to see what the center of it looked like. <laughs> and then a, um, what is this? Is it, I think it's got a year, 1935 Buffalo. And a, uh, I can't see the date on the Mercury. And I think we are good. So just a random.org. And if you want to do one through eight, Gypsy. 
just eight people. Yeah, a wow. lot of these, a lot of these people in chat were at the hunt. We're at the hunt. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my, this is funny. You ready? Yep. Number one. Mike Chamberlain. Yay, Mike. Congrats. All right. And I might still have your address, Mike, from a prior time. But if you could just um, send me a Facebook you know message. That. Well, no, nah, just a Facebook, Facebook message will work. Yeah. Okay. And then I can get on that. Congratulations. And Richie, I saw your book was up for a raffle at the Dig It Dude. And um, it made me remember I want it. So I will be, I wrote it, wrote it down and need to put an order in. I'm pretty excited. It is. What? Um, Richie has a book? Yeah, Richie's got a couple. Richie, and, I didn't know that. He's got, so it's for, so it's for kids, and it's Andy the Angry Squatch by Madison oh, Maine. Oh, cute is that? Yeah, and I have oh. a few, my, uh, my niece and my nephew love, like, Sasquatch stories, so. Oh, how cute is that? I, I put, like, all, like, almost all of my raffle tickets in for that, <laughs> and I forget who won <laughs> it. Like, all right, I should probably just go buy it. <laughs> Wow. Um, and then I think Rob asked, any other hunts going on around the Northeast besides Dirt Fishing America? Um, I heard the Dirt Fishing America one. And then um, I think there's another one in South Jersey. And I thought I, there's there is another one. And I got to get the flyer on it. I think there's a couple, and then there might be one in Pennsylvania as well in November. Cool. Yeah, when when I actually get my uh, calendar and start penciling them all in, we will definitely mention it on the show. And if anybody in chat knows of any, definitely put the, those in the chat that way, because I take them from there as well and uh, jot them into the calendar. But, yeah, so that leads to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have a special announcement, too, and it won't be as big of a deal as my other hunt, but I'm going to do a really quick impromptu uh, hunt my birthday weekend. So my birthday is November 3rd. I'm going to have on November the 4th, uh, as far as I know, that's the date. I've got to double check with uh, Garrett, make sure. I, I'm pretty sure that falls in between when I'm supposed to be going. Uh, like, I think I have two more weeks before I leave to go to um, Holland with Garrett. But um, November 4th. Day after my birthday, right here in East Texas, only about 10 miles from where I live. Um, and uh, it's some family property. And um, it will be a birthday gathering or get-together metal detecting hunt. I will seed it. Now, on this property, I have hunted part of this property and found stuff. Uh, but the area that will be a, a very large open field um, that we'll be hunting, I'm going to cap it at 100, um, just 100 people. So um, after that, I'll have to cap it. But I'm just going to do, um, it'll be $50 uh, entry. And I've already got some silver and some um, prizes already started along with some, I think, buffalo nickels and Indian head pennies. Uh, so anyway, 
if you're interested, I will be uh, have hopefully by tomorrow. Um, I will have the information of about the hunt uh, up. I already talked to Joanna, the lady that we've had on before that does my website, and you'll be able to purchase tickets on there. It will be a rain or shine, so we'll have the hunt rain or shine. Um, and I'm going to do, uh, unfortunately, when it's rain or shine, it's uh, no refunds on that. It's just too much of a hassle. You lose the $50 if, if you couldn't make it, but it's not a, like, break the bank type thing. And um, it should be affordable for most people at $50. And it's... Um, I'll have all the information tomorrow. I'll be posting it, and then I'll be doing a short video on my YouTube channel as well. So it will be um, a lot of fun, and uh, it'll be basically just a 10 to 3, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. hunt. Uh, that way it'll give people time to, you know, Um, you know, go do other things if they want. And uh, also uh, probably a lot of the local people will be coming. I'm sure there'll be some people from out of state uh, as normal, but uh, a lot of the local metal detecting clubs and stuff. But it'll be a fun uh, birthday a weekend to get to spend with all my fellow treasure hunters. And then I've been getting a lot of messages. Uh, in fact, I just got one yesterday. Guy wanting to know if there was any local uh, hunts in, in this area coming up. And uh, so he's new to the hobby. So anyway, it will be an amazing hunt, even though it'll be kind of a really quickly planned, but I know I can pull it together and, um, Anyway, super excited about that. So mark your calendar if you're interested or help me spread the word if you don't mind. And because uh, it'll be really short and coming up quick. So that's my announcement. That's exciting. It is. It is. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. And everything will be well cooled off by November. And it should still, you know, as long as, you know, the... Um, Weather holds out. November can be like 70s here, so oh. it might be perfect, perfect awesome. weather. You just never know. But Very even cool. if we have a cold snip, you know, you put on a jacket and you get out there and swing and we have fun getting together. So it should be a great time. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the the rain thing, like, I think we experienced it at Bone. Um hmm and I've experienced it come out swinging and you just have to be in the mindset. <laughs> like you have to put yourself in the mindset that if you're not really a fan of like being out in inclement weather, like, Hey, it's like you're, you're in an area that you might not have been able to dig or you're at an event with people that, you know, you really enjoy. And once you're over the fact, like, oh, I'm going to get soaked. It's okay. I got to change clothes, like whatever. It makes the hunt a lot more fun. <laughs> Oh, definitely, definitely. Remember like, <laughs> our first time we went when we went to pound the ground, even though I was sick as a dog. Oh yeah, <laughs> laying out. There. But I was there with y'all. Y'all helped me get through that. Oh, I was so sick. Oh my gosh. I do have to say, so people are talking about getting old in chat, and we got to wish Mike and Bill o Ohio Relic Hunter both a uh, happy birthday this week. Um. They, people are talking about getting old and chat and you know for some reason um with the seated hunt i got to talk to some of the youngsters after the seated hunt and mm -hmm. at the beginning like you know even at as you know I, I i'll say i'm a seasoned detectorist but seasoned in years of detecting <laughs> um seated hunts have never been my forte they haven't. I enjoy naturally searching for stuff and, you know, you take your sure. time. You're not, you know, it's just one of those things. And I, I, there was a young 
young woman who was, you know, it was her first time doing a seated hunt and they had walked over and this is while my cuff was broken. I was sitting on a rock, just kind of chilling out, watching.